great thing about a compressor is that as a guitarist, you have so much dynamic range. You know that when you pick, it can be a hundred different grades of soft, medium, or loud. So a compressor allows you to be as dynamic as you want, but for the listener and for the music, it brings up the quiet parts and softens the loud parts so that everything comes out even, and it's a great thing to listen to. I was surprised when I fired up the CP1X at the amount of clarity and definition it gave me. It really seemed to follow and adapt to everything I played. No matter what style I play, this compressor always seems to react in a musical way. Whether it's country picking or very aggressive clean R&B or heavy rhythm or even distorted lead soloing, it always enhances what I'm doing. There seems to be a lot going on inside this pedal. When you turn any of the four knobs, a number of parameters are adjusted under the hood at the same time. So you end up with a high quality studio sound, but the ease of use of a stomp box. Boss has created a technology called MDP, or multi-dimensional processing. This analyzes your sound, overdrive, harmonics, frequency. It also analyzes your playing, which is neck position, single note versus chord, arpeggios, bends, and vibrato. The benefit to all this is it creates a compressor that actually doesn't get in the way of your playing, it enhances your playing, and doesn't cloud your playing, it clarifies your playing. What I like about the CP1X is that it has a lot of clarity and it doesn't necessarily change your sound. It basically sounds like what I've heard on records for the last five decades. If you listen to any record from the 50s all the way to now, compression is really the biggest part of all the sounds on all the instruments. But for guitar, this thing reminds me of Fairchild's that I would use in the studio, really high-end compressor. When you turn on your favorite amplifier, it doesn't matter where the knobs are set, it sounds good. This compressor is just like that. You really can't go wrong no matter where the knobs are set. And to me, that's the hallmark of a very musical device.